today in this video i am going to show you how you can unbrick your hard bricked or dead motorola moto g4 plus or any other qualcomm mobile device so first of all we will get to know what is causing why your phone is hard bricked because you have installed a flash uh, stock rom of your android version lower than your previous version and then you have installed an ota update so uh, while installing the OTA update, your phone, phone gets into a, very, a serious problem that is uh, there is no sign of life except the fact that uh, whenever you connect your device to a charger, the LED notification light near the fingerprint sensor blinks continuously. So in this video, we will see how to get back your device working and there are two parts. First of all, we have to uh, go for the bootloader because bootloader is not working or it is not coming whenever you press the volume down button and power button so first of all we have to go to get bootloader working so for this you have to install certain files first of all you have to download the qualcomm drivers which of which the, the link is in the description and for your information i am using the fix from a uh, xga forums developers xga developers and in this post uh, it, it is briefly explained how you can get back your device and all credit goes to this guy by vijay jadav and uh, he got many of devices fixed and uh, the success rate is almost 100 percent so if you are if your device is also facing the same problem then the chart there are chances that it will get back working so i was saying that you have to download certain drivers uh, you have to download qualcomm drive.zip from here of which i will mention the link in the description then you have to download blank flash but not from this post there is an another post which have the updated blank flash file so you have to uh, the i will mention the link in the description as well so you have to download the blank flash file from this link and one and one more file that is bootloader and gpt files for the version this this is the latest version update for android noga for moto g4 plus so you have to download the bootloader and gpt files for this version so you can download it from here as well and you have to down, uh, download adb and fastboot uh, drivers of which the link is in there don't worry i will mention a link of every file in the description so you can download them easily and get your device working so let's start with the process after you have installed your qualcomm drivers then open an elevated command prompt elevated command prompt means you have the administrative rights so right click on the windows icon here and you can if you have the latest version of windows then there is no option of command prompt there is an option option of windows powershell so you can open this as well by uh, clicking this now the powershell opens and uh, we have to give it two commands which are mentioned here bc edit and this copy these two lines and open the powershell and right click here after right click you can see that the operation was completed successfully for this and you have to press enter for this so both of our operations are completed successfully now you can close this window now you have to connect your device to the pc while connecting if your device gets detected as qualcomm this or even if it gets connected and you can see that your device is connected then you can further proceed and if not then try to press the power button and volume down button while your device has been connected you can check that your device has been connected by going to device manager here and there will be an option of ports here and while opening those option ports you can see that qualcomm device has been connected you can see that so after your device is connected what you have to do you have to extract the file which you have downloaded that is blank flash file I have extracted it already so I will open this you have to click this blank flash file and the uh, command window will open and uh, you can see this kind of commands going on on the screen 
this kind of command is going on the screen and it will take hardly uh, 7 to 8 seconds and now your bootloader is un uh, working now so you have to further proceed then you have to uh, install that uh, uh, gpt files and bootloader file i have already downloaded them as well this is there bootloader and this i will extract it here and now you have to copy these two files and paste them in adb plus fastboot folder now you have to open uh, now we can see that here what is being shown now we have to use these commands one by one or you can copy these all th all the three commands by right clicking and going to back here press shift button and right click button to open a windows command here now you can click and the command prompt will start processing my device my my, uh, my device is not connected so it will not show any uh, process after this you can see that your device has restarted and you can see your bootloader working now the path is very easy from here you just have to flash the stock rom and you can you have to download the latest stock rom from this link and this link has a the latest stock rom so you have to download this and your device will get working on android 7.0 so the process for the flashing the stock rom is very simple you have to extract all your uh, stock rom files in the adb folder this i have extracted earlier and this is the folder you can you have to copy these all these files and paste it into the adb and fastboot folder my my actually what you have to do you have to paste it here and then again open click shift and open command window here copy all the commands from this page and paste them here by right clicking and the, uh, your stock room will get installed and you can see that that's it you will get your ething back to life i got my ething back to life using this method now i hope this video was helpful to you and uh, your problem is uh, almost solved from this please press the like button if you have watched this complete video and subscribe to my channel because i keep making videos like this and much more you can uh, go on my channel and see what i have did so far and thank you for very much again thanks for watching